The elegant Everest sits high atop the Midwest Stock Exchange in Chicago. Owner chef Jean Joho, a Beard Society Best Chef Midwest winner, also owns Brasserie Joe in the city, where more casual dining is offered. His appetizer is sheared eggs, but as you'll see, served in an unconventional style. Number one, we're making some small little brioche toast. What are we doing? We're taking some homemade brioche here. Slice it finely. In France, we call this also mouillette. What we do, we just toss this very lightly. You can toss this whole or you can slice it any way what you want. And you toss this for a little bit. The brioche is browned in a salamander. You look for a nice and golden brown. Step number two, we make a, a, a cream with some Mardegger roots. The Mardegger roots is a brandy from Alsace. It's made from grapes. It's exactly almost the same as you have grappa, but it's made in Alsace. When you're mixing this with your cream, nice and smooth. This is whipped cream. Now the eggs. OK, you're cracking your eggs. That's a special tool I have here. Just crack it a little bit, and then it's got a top, and you save the top. It's very important as you're drying the top. You're cutting your egg, and take two eggs. With traditional sheared eggs, they are baked in cream. Here, they'll be scrambled. Season the eggs with salt and pepper. You add just a touch of butter for the smoothness, and you mix your eggs really, really well. The eggs will be scrambled in a small saucepan. And the most important are beginning from cold to warm. And you stir this very, on very low temperature, very consistency, but a smooth consistency. No overheat the eggs until we go dry on the globally. When you do it, just put on a low heat. As the eggs begin to cook, the chef moves them on and off the flat top to control the temperature. I use a whip, it's much, much easier to do it. You can use, you use a wooden spatula, but with a whip in general, it's a bit more easy to do for the smoothness. Stir consistently, go careful in the sides and the board, or so you not make it too dry. And remember, when you almost cook, they will cook a bit longer when you take it out for the, for the pan. Are you feeding up your eggs? It's really important, go careful, nice and smooth, you can see it. Take a stainless spoon, no use silver, for your eggs. Next step, you're adding the cream. You go around in a circle. It's very important as you keep space in the middle, right in the middle, this is where you put your caviar.
same for the caviar. Buy the best what you can. Here I use beluga. Just use the best what you can find. No use some raw, some fish eggs. Use beluga when you can really afford some beluga, Megan with Sietra. But really what makes this dish is the caviar, there's nothing else. Caviar on the eggs, the freshness for the eggs, the farmer's eggs. Use a little garnish. Serve this. Here I serve this mini gold spoon. Voila. Thank you.